Hey guys, Shazada here today. Uh, it's a quick unboxing and a bit of a guide for you guys on our suggestion. Because uh, the new uh, Xbox Ally X is available, so we are all looking for the drives to upgrade with. Because it does come with one terabyte drive, it is sufficient enough. But if you're looking for something which is 2 to 4 gigs, uh, sorry, gigs, uh, terabytes, so there are a couple of options available. So there are one which is a decent and readily available, which is from Samsung. Then the other one is from WD, which has two models. One is the SN770X. Um, there is a SN770 model, but then there's an X model, which is certified for um, Xbox. Um, anyway, so then there's a crucial uh, P310 and P700 or P7000 series as well. And there are some editors. So there's, there's a lot of different models. So, but I will give you three options, which are which are more sort of, uh, you know, better brands or more known brands. And if there's any issue, it will be all better, easier for you to, in case you know, if you wanna uh, get uh, some support of uh, support from these companies. So Samsung has two main options, which I would recommend for these, which are budget friendly because they are between two hundred. You can get them from 230 to 250 pounds or 270 pounds. So one is the Evo Plus, then there is 990 Pro. And then from uh, WD, there the one which is like SN770 or SN770 X. There is another higher model as well, which is SN850, but it is a bit more expensive. So when you are looking for these drives, do make sure to keep one thing in mind. It is the power draw. Normally on these drives, we do not care about the power draw, but because these are portable drives, so you gotta make sure the these device you're upgrading to, they use less power, right? So Evo, this one, the is like um, idle power is uh, 60 milliwatt, right? And then while on active one, the maximum it can goes to, it is 4.3 uh, watts, right? And if I am not mistaken, the thermal limit on this drives is around 70 to 80. I think it's around close more to 80. You can go to with 990 Pro. It is a better, faster drive. But but the problem is those drives, the their active power is usually it starts from five to seven but then they can go to like when they're in the bus mode they are like active they can go jump from five they can jump to eight and i've saw from somewhere i've seen almost 11 watt ish right so we don't want uh, we don't want something like that um so something which is really close to it and it has almost the same performance or better performance in some instance which will be the sn770 but on that, the active power is 5.4 5 watts while, and the thermal limit is, I think is usually close, the thermal temperature are usually close to 70. The thing is with these, this one and the, uh, the SN770, you will not need the, the heat sink because these drives, they don't go that much for, um, like, uh, they're not that power, like, hungry so you won't be like needing extra thermal pads obviously if you do get something like really thin you can get it but you do need to make sure because there's not that much of space compared to the um your older uh, drive where you had had a bit more space now because these are larger dri drives so what happens is this the power cable for the battery so yeah the battery power cable will sit go right above it so you need to make sure um, the heatsink is doesn't come in the way or doesn't bend your power cables. So, uh, one thing though, this is a DRAM less uh, drive. So obviously, with when it comes to so it is, uh, it, it will impact performance. But I wouldn't say you don't need to worry about it because it's like uh, the this has a HMB which is like host memory buffer. So what we'll do is it will be using ram from your uh, uh the the dram will become your ram will become the dram <laughs> so it will be using um resources from your device itself so i think it usually is between 64 to 128 watts uh sorry not watts 128 mbs so it's not it won't be taking that much of a like a it won't be a ram hog so you don't need to worry about that but it's the performance 
for us like gaming installing loading things like that you will not see like that much of a impact on the performance um so with these devices when you're looking look at the performance uh, the speed is like because almost these are um, gen 5 devices so almost everything will be above 5000 but you because when you're downloading it's like the first because obviously when you're downloading a game your first bottom like will be your internet speed it's not going to be your ram or your drive itself and then the second will be your your device itself it's uh, sorry your router and the, the device connection are using my well, are using ethernet so most likely the higher connection usually people have is like one gigs right so you are bottlenecking the these ones and you're not doing something which will be affecting the performance from your perspective when you load the game it will load up start the device will boot up quickly so there is nothing like impacting on your side so that's one for us the main thing is power draw and the thermals uh, like how hot does this device get what kind of power draw it has so look for these devices so i would recommend evo plus because uh, the active power is quite low and uh that is the main thing and then i don't want i i will be looking for some options which have uh, sort of smaller footprint for the thermal path itself as you can see the speed itself it says uh read and write speeds are like about like seven thousand as i said earlier it doesn't matter that much um and the four terabyte so if i remember correctly give me one second yeah so so for this one the battery uh, the warranty is like five years and then uh, the write limit is uh, 2400 ter terabytes tbw uh we i don't think we will be hitting that soon anytime soon uh so the main thing is they do say like the, the, the like samsung has worked on the the power cons uh, consumption on this device compared to the old gen from but it says like this is 70 percent more efficient but from one of the reviews I've seen, it's usually between 30 to 40. So, yes, um, it does have a, like a um, thing called turbo ride. So it should improve the uh, ride performance. But as I said, because of that speed, you won't see any notice that much. Um, the ride speed is, sorry, uh, the read speed is 7,250, but the ride speed is 6,000, uh, 60, almost 6 gigs. Not, um, and then that's pretty much it for this device so obviously i'm not opening because i don't have the ally with me so i don't want to open and do but like i can do i can show you guys that. so we'll come into this okay the, the, these are these are new um cardboard boxes i kind of like these ones so i'm guessing these are more environmental friendly than the plastic ones and this is the drive itself also one thing though I've seen like sometimes people remove these labels. Please do not remove these labels. They work as like heat sinks on your drive. <laughs> so never remove these ones. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the drive itself. There's not much, obviously. I can, there's not much to show on the, like a SSD. <laughs> so that is it. If you have any questions though, do let me know. For the next time, stay safe, take care, have a good day, do like and subscribe please.